Hey guys, Skillot Noodle here. So the other week I put out a message asking people what they wanted to see me create in Blender, and I got an awesome comment from a user suggesting seven different ideas. So my next seven videos are going to be those seven ideas. Let's get started. I began creating the scene by blocking out the shape of the hallway, extending it forward and creating a corner bend. I continued by adding loop cuts and beveling to create the doorways for the rooms. Adding some more loop cuts horizontally to define the top of the door frames in the midsection where the trim would go. Then delete the planes to form the doorways. Next I created a floor, which I found easier to manage as a separate piece from the walls and added thickness to the doorways. After setting up the basic scene, I placed my camera to set up the composition of the final piece. After the basic layout, it was time to start some texturing. I began with the floor, adding a broken tiles texture and scaling it to be smaller. In Photoshop, I was able to isolate just the tiles and change their color to match my scene more appropriately. Next, I added the ceiling and began lighting the scene. I added the ceiling tiles texture and used loop cuts to isolate some panels to create ceiling lights. I created the texture for the lights in Photoshop as well, adding grunge to the edges and adding a yellow tint to add that aged feeling. I also used the cloud texture and grain to help aid in the old worn feeling I was going for. After brightening the center, I was ready to bring the texture back in the blender. I selected the tiles I wanted to be lights and added the light texture. I made sure to correct their UV map so they would be aligned with the edge wear of the texture. After the lights, I moved on to adding more grunge to the walls. When creating an environment that's supposed to feel abandoned, I tend to stay away from clean and uniform textures. I mainly aimed for the edges and had the grunge build up from the floors, as if water slowly dampened the walls and added mold. I also took this time to add some grunge to the doorways and bevel their edges so they wouldn't look too sharp. Now it was time to start creating assets to populate my scene. I began by modeling a gurney from some reference images I grabbed from the internet. For most of the primary shapes, I used mostly the bevel and inset tools while also using the solidify modifier to add thickness to the trays below the bed. I mainly used cylinders and the skin modifier to create the poles that supported the infrastructure of the gurney. I made sure to use the skin modifier whenever I needed to have the poles bend smoothly, and personally, I find this tool to be somewhat faster than curves for when you need a quick result. With some basic poly modeling, I was able to create the wheels. I knew they wouldn't be a super close-up detail, so these didn't take too long. I placed the wheels at the bottom of the gurney, giving them some random rotation to add a natural feel to its pose in the scene. I slapped some basic materials on the gurney and placed it in my scene. For the main focal point of the scene, I created a sign texture in Photoshop. I used an old billboard as the base layer, adding some red text signaling to vaults down the hall. I added some grunge to the text and brought the texture back in the blender. I scaled down the sign and added some thickness to it. I scaled and placed the sign at the back of the wall of the hallway, so it would be more of the center focus of the scene. To finish off, I placed some assets I grabbed from the Megascans library, and I tried to place these in a logical and straightforward way, not placing things randomly or clumping too many things together in one spot. After rendering my scene, I moved into Photoshop for some final tweaks and adjustments on color, and I also added some film green, and I called the piece complete. So that was day one of the challenge. Leave a comment below if you'd like to see me create some of your ideas in Blender, and make sure to check out my Patreon where I'll be uploading longer tutorials, Blender scenes, and assets for you to use in your own artwork. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.